Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. I was watching a video somebody sent me about, uh, I think it, his name was Dollar Vigilante or whatever, and he was saying, you know what? Uh, everybody wearing masks and all this kind of stuff, he's like, you know what? Maybe it's better if all the stupid people die. And I'm not so sure that's not so far off of a thing, you know? Uh, let me explain before you get turned off. Uh, when you're wearing a mask, you're concentrating the carbon dioxide. Now, those of you that don't remember your biology or you never took it, uh, we breathe in... Well, the air is a mixture of nitrogen and oxygen and carbon dioxide and other gases. And we breathe in oxygen, process it, and then we exhale carbon dioxide. Whereas plants inhale carbon dioxide and they release oxygen. So plants and people have a what is called a symbiotic relationship. Well... Somebody took a, it's an oxygen level meter. And this meter does a number of things. It detects the percentage of oxygen in the air. It also tests for explosive gases and dangerous things, uh, ox, uh, dangerous gases. For example, carbon monoxide, carbon excess amounts of carbon dioxide. Some of those gases are heavier than air. So if you're working, let's say you're, you're a worker and you're inside of a, a, let's say a type of pit made of, oh, I don't know, steel or concrete. Let's say like a, uh, a water worker and they've got an, under, an, an underground concrete pit where they like a well type thing where they store water. Uh, they take this meter and they go down and put it down there and then test the oxygen levels. Because some of these gases, they're really not dangerous, but they'll deprive you of the oxygen you need and you can suffocate and you won't even notice any bad smell or anything. I mean, they, they do test for different things that are dangerous, but you can die of carbon monoxide poisoning and you won't even smell a thing. I mean, you'll just get lightheaded, go to sleep, and then you never wake up. So what this meter does, it's from the uh, OSHA, uh, the Occupational Safety Hazard Administration, supposedly a branch of the government that likes to protect workers, eh, if you believe that kind of stuff. But they, they have these meters and they take them down and put them into these pits to test the oxygen and dangerous uh, gas levels prior to entry for workers to go in and do whatever, maintenance and what have you. I used to work in this type of field, so I'm very familiar with this. Well, somebody took the meter and put it underneath their mask and was breathing. And the concentration of oxygen dropped below what they considered a safe level. The carbon dioxide levels were uh, excessive. I mean, and then, you know, people start wondering why they feel sluggish, why they're tired, why they have headaches. Oh, gee, I wonder why. Well, that's because you're concentrating the carbon dioxide, which is a waste product. You know, duh. Uh, and you and you always notice the politicians when they're on TV, they're not wearing masks. I mean, you know, stupid people. Now, the, th the thing is, um, look at television. What is television full of? It's full of occult stuff, Satanism, witchcraft, uh, violence, uh, anything but stuff about the Bible. Anything but. Uh, I mean, they're pushing 
uh, satanic ideas, communist ideas, leftists, socialists, whatever you want to call it, by whatever name, um, and anything that's anti-white. And then, because it's on the television, they, they're going to believe it? I mean, really? You know? And, and what do people do? They watch hours and hours and hours and hours of sports and soap operas and uh, stupid situational comedies, so-called. I mean, really? And then they think, these people are going to tell you the truth? Really? You know, but I was there, I never really liked television, but I was there one day. And I just don't know how church people can watch this filth, and then they trust the television, you know, about, well, you know, we need to wear masks, and uh, we need to get our vaccines. And that's going to be part two, by the way. Um, I'm going to probably do part two and put it on BitChute, because... I want to try to keep my tube channel up for as long as possible. So this is probably going to be part one. So, you know, if anything, instead of a mask helping you from catching disease, it's weakening your immune system, slowly making you sick and uh, destroying your health. And don't think they don't know that. So, all right, make sure you get Catch part two on BitChute.